Hey you guys, it is Brad here and today is Friday and I'm really excited today because tonight I am going to my first ever 8th fall event here in Toronto at the Legoland Discovery Centre. I recently joined the Toronto LEGO Users Group. This is my first time ever on a LUG, and this is the first event that they've had since I've joined. I've only been to the Legoland Discovery Center once since I moved here to Toronto, and I just went to shop because I was bored one day. So I'm really excited to see what this event may be. I don't really know anyone as I'm going there. I'm hoping to meet a lot of new people tonight. And I totally do not know what to expect, so that's why we're gonna experience it together for the very first time. I'm gonna wear this shirt that I got from the LEGO house. All right, you guys, I have arrived here in Vaughan, Ontario, and I have made it to the Legoland Discovery Discovery Center. It is an absolutely miserable night here in the city. So this is what the outside of the Legos Land Discovery Center actually looks like. Obviously it is the A-Fall night so the whole place is closed and they've got some special graphics up just for A-Falls. So to get in I had to buy my ticket in advance. The theme tonight is Casino so you guys can see this is just a little bit of a schedule they gave me printed off as well as some tickets for the games. So the actual A-Fall night itself takes place in the Discovery Center so you had to walk through this really cool door into the actual Lego Land part here. I'm spinning around it's my first time ever here so it was really cool to see a lot of the things here right when you walk in this is designed to look like the lego factory so they have emmet and wild style all built up of bricks they've got lots of lego minifigures lots of tubes they've even got a lego basketball player they've got this section here which kind of tells you how to make lego parts and lego minifigures and it's very interactive and is obviously meant for kids uh, who go through and want to learn a little bit more about how lego works and how it's actually made it was pretty cool to see this mock-up factory here it was obviously pretty empty because all the eighth falls are actually past the mini land here of Toronto in the main space. So for starters, let's take a look at the really cool scenes they had built of Toronto in Lego. This room was almost impossible to film because the lights kept shifting from the different times of day, but it was really cool to look around because there are so many very famous Toronto landmarks built out of Lego. As someone who's lived in the city for the last five years, I love just going through and taking a look at the city and seeing some of the Easter eggs and some of the buildings and stuff like that that I see on a daily basis. They had tablets all the way in the city here as well showing the entire layout and you can actually click on it to learn a little bit more about each of the Lego models and what the actual item was. While obviously the city was not to scale, I thought they did a really good job by incorporating a lot of the famous Toronto landmarks. This is what the city actually looks like from the back as well. You guys can see even more landmarks were able to be fit in there and it was just really cool to see all of this especially built out of Lego. I wish it would have just been daylight. I didn't like the lights uh, switching so much. I think it would have been cool just to see everything all at once, but it was still pretty neat. They also had a really cool model of Niagara Falls with this like zip line going across the front, which looked pretty neat, as well as they had the part Parliament buildings that are located in Ottawa, Ontario, as well as this really cool baseball stadium. Now into the main area of the Legoland Discovery Center, we've got the main attraction of the night where all the A-Falls are actually hanging out. But first I got scared and I actually went to the studios where the movie theater was to watch a movie before I had to start socializing. The movie I saw was the Lego movie in 4D at Legoland, which was really cool. I feel like I've seen this one in Billin before, but that was a few years ago, and it was just really fun. It was 4D, so I got wet, and it was just really neat to see. Back into the main 8-fall area now, they had the Legoland Discovery Center mostly set up so you could still do some of the playful interactive exhibits, but because it was 8-fall night, they also had a bunch of other attractions. Like I mentioned, the theme was Casino, so they had a bunch of different brick games all the way around, ranging from Blackjack to Roulette, a bunch of things. If you go to the casino, you probably all know what they are. You use those tickets to play, and you can even win more tickets. You guys can see here, it was very busy. There were a ton of 8-falls throughout the night. Everyone was just mixing and mingling, having some food, having some drinks, and of course, playing at the games. So I realized now I didn't actually film enough clips of my time here at Legoland and showing you what the actual A-Falls were doing, but like I mentioned, they were playing the games, they were just chatting with one another, there was also a silent auction going on with a bunch of the uh, Legoland Discovery Center's old sets that they had in their display models that you could buy, all the proceeds were going to charity. All the tables for the games and stuff like that were actually really full. There was lots of 8-balls there all the time playing these games, and that's why I didn't do a lot of filming, because I didn't want to get a bunch of random people when they were trying to play, but there really was a lot going on, and the whole thing, I got there around 7.30, and the whole thing lasted well until 9.30. I mentioned all the games that everyone was playing, and when you actually won the games, you got extra tickets, which you could use to put in the four raffles. So they had four very large raffles with a couple different prize packs, and they went off to some very lucky people. I unfortunately was not some of the lucky people, but it was really cool to see the sets that they were giving away, and as you can see, everyone was having a really good time. Thank you for coming out tonight. We hope you had an awesome time. We had a good time. <laughs> 
Then afterwards, they went through and announced all of the winners of the silent auction, and those people got to go and pay for their prize and collect things. So all this raffle and everything took place at the very end of the night, probably around 9.15, 9.30 p.m. However, one of the things that I did not show you that also happened throughout the night, in addition to all the other games and activities around the Legoland Discovery Center, was actually the mocks and creations that the Toronto Lego Users Group brought and had on display. So Toralog actually had their own room off to the side here, where they moved all the tables together and just filled them with Lego creations. They had some people just bringing their own Lego creations, not part of any theme, they just wanted to show it off. They had this really cool tower of a bunch of Lego minifigure scenes, and they even brought part of their Monopoly display, which is a collaborative effort of a Monopoly board. So as I show you a lot of the really cool creations from Toronto Lug, this is actually where I spent a majority of my evening just trying to chat with all these new members, getting to know people who are now part of the same lug as myself, and really get to know a lot of people. I spoke and met so many really cool people here tonight, so I am excited to be part of the Toronto Lego Users Group. And like I said earlier in this video, this was just my whole introduction to this lug, and to this evening was this kind of the first formal meet and greet I had with everybody. So it was really cool to chat with so many people, look at their really cool creations, and that's why I spent a majority of my time for this night in the Toro lug room instead of actually mixing and mingling out in the general eight ball place and playing the games and stuff like that. I even got a little building inspiration here with this Toronto postcard. This is definitely one I'll have to add to my collection. And just like that, the evening was actually complete. So I headed off out to the exit there, past these really cool Lego mosaics in the hallway, and then actually made my way to the Legoland Discovery Center store. Honestly, you guys, I will have to say the store was super underwhelming. There wasn't anything crazy there. A couple more retired sets, but mostly just things that are currently on production. What I don't like about the Legoland Discovery Center and all Legolands is everything is just so upcharged and overpriced. If I wanted to buy some of these sets that are currently for sale, I could just go to the Lego store and buy them for way cheaper and actually get VIP points. So, unfortunately, there was nothing crazy special here. They didn't have anything on the pick brick wall. They didn't have any minifigure parts or anything like that in the BAM section. And like I mentioned, just a bunch of Lego sets that I could just buy at the actual store uh, in addition to a few uh, more retired ones like that treehouse back there. All right, you guys, my first a fall night at Legoland was a success. I will tell you guys all about it when I get home. Overall, I did have a really fun night at the Legoland Discovery Center a fall night. I thought it was a really good chance to go out there and meet some fellow a falls see some really cool mocks, and play some cool games. Obviously, because this is my first time ever going to an event that the new lug that I just joined was ever at, I did spend a majority of my time, of course, meeting new people, interacting with them, and didn't really spend a lot of my time out in the general public area, you know, playing the games or doing anything like that. I took my raffle tickets and just threw them. I played one game I think and then took just the rest of the raffle tickets and threw them in the bin fortunately didn't win anything but I did get to meet a lot of really cool people and I had fun that way there were a lot of other non -tr uh, Toronto lug members there as well like just regular people who like Lego a couple young adults that looked like they saw it online and had some you know thought it would be a fun night or something like that so it wasn't like a typical Lego convention where everybody's there is an a fall uh, there were a falls there were people there where they just looked like they were interested and there were lots of lug people and stuff like that as well uh, but it wasn't like a lug exclusive exclusive event like I kind of thought it would be it was just it was very much more so open to the general public overall I had a really cool time is it something I'm going to go to every single one honestly probably not it was fun to go to I had a good time but it was like 30 bucks and I'm just not rushing out uh, to go to the next one because it was a very short night and you know the night wrapped up by by 10 o'clock for me when I got there at 7 30 and even though I got to meet some cool people and stuff like that uh, if I displayed it if I went there to display it was free uh, so that would have been cool through the lug so maybe I would do that in the future uh, I'm still very glad I went because I wouldn't have got to meet a lot of the lug members otherwise and now when I you know prepare for more things here in Toronto that are involved the Lego users group and like Bricks in the Six and stuff like that I'm gonna know some people but in terms of the actual Lego land night itself uh, I didn't find it anything too special I feel like the people made it and of course it's just a really good gathering place for everybody to come I definitely don't regret going and I thought the Lego land discovery center did a good job having some games and some fun prizes and stuff like that to keep the A-Falls engaged thank you so much for tuning in with me and coming along for the journey and I will See you guys in the next video.